My name is Grace Kemp, and this talk is entitled, The Mysteries of the Menorah. If you don't know what a menorah is, you're looking at one. This was purchased at Lammas Gift Shop in Bethlehem. It was um, one of the major symbols of Israel. And when I asked what it meant, they, I was told it's a symbol of the nation of Israel and our mission to be a light to the nations. Uh, but there's many, many different uh, reasons given as to why um, the menorah is a symbol in Israel. Uh, originally, the, this, the details of the, for the menorah was given to Moses at Mount Sinai. And one was constructed to go into the tabernacle and uh, later in the temple. And um, it was called the pure candlestick or the lamp of God. Um, in Hebrews, uh, we are told in Hebrews 8 to 5, uh, see that thou make all things according to the pattern shown thee in the mount, because they were an example and shadow of heavenly things. In other words, every bit of furniture in the tabernacle and in the, later in the temple, uh, it, for which God had given Moses uh, detailed instructions, uh, and he wrote down all those details and then created them, uh, they had to be meticulously followed because they represent things in the heavenly temple. And when John was caught up to heaven in Revelation 4, 1, in the temple of God was the throne of God, there was Jesus Christ there, but where was the Holy Spirit? It says um, of the Holy Spirit, there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Now what does that mean? That, the whole, that there are seven Holy Spirits? No, the seven lamps of fire burning before the throne of God was a menorah. Now you, this is only one menorah, but it has seven spouts. Um, seven spouts. So the Holy Spirit is represented uh, biblically as uh, the, as a menorah. The menorah represents the Holy Spirit, in other words. And why does it say the seven spirits of God? Because Isaiah tells us 11, 1 and 2, the Spirit of the Lord, describing uh, the Holy Spirit's ministry, he's called the Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of Wisdom, Spirit of Understanding, Counsel, Might, Knowledge, and Fear of the Lord. So the Holy Spirit has a sevenfold ministry. And so biblically speaking, the menorah represents the Holy Spirit. In God's right hand, uh, John noticed that God was holding a seven-sealed scroll. Now that's very rare. The scroll in Israel with the seal was not to be opened by anybody except the uh, legal owner. Uh, to have seven seals on a scroll was an extremely valuable document. Um, so when I was in Israel at the Shrine of the Book, I, I ran all through that science museum uh, looking for what I expected to find, an, uh, an old um, scroll, an ancient scroll with seven seals. I'd been told it was there. I didn't find it. I managed to miss my bus by taking so much time. However, um, a seven sealed scroll is rare, very rare. Um, and so I thought, well, God valued the scroll in his hand um, <clears throat> because it has seven seals and only God can open it or his representative Christ. Uh, and we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Does God not value us as much as he values the scroll? The fact is, the Holy Spirit is the seven seals. Uh, because he is presented in a sevenfold ministry, then we as believers are we're seven, seven sealed saints. When we're sealed with the Holy Spirit, there's seven seals on us. Now what good is that? What does that mean? That means that at salvation, and the Holy Spirit indwells us at that point, uh, we are sealed seven times over with the seven sealed Spirit of the living God. Uh, a seal cannot be broken. Uh, that gives me tremendous security. Believers are secure because they're sealed not till the next sin, but according to Ephesians uh, 1.13 and Ephesians 4.30, they're sealed until the day of redemption. Uh, so as a, a sealed believer, then we seek to please the Lord. Uh, a sealed believer, uh, sealed with the Holy Spirit, will bring forth works. Uh, they will evidence that faith by the works. If, it, if they never evidence works, uh, then they're just talking nonsense. Uh, because a true born-again believer with the Spirit of God in him will start manifesting the characteristics. 
And so uh, that gives me a, a tremendous security. All believers are secure. So let's live to please the Lord. He's coming soon. So be ready and know for, sh for sure that you are sealed and ready to go. God bless you.